In this video, we will be talking about the essential items that all coaches need off the field. The on-field items that coaches need are extremely important for practices and games, but the off-field stuff is often overlooked. These are the things that help with planning, strategizing, and making sure that you're ready for the on-field portion of coaching. I have a feeling that you won't be able to guess what the number one essential item for all coaches is in this list. I just love the off-field part of coaching. It's a space where I felt a lot more in control and I love the ability to be a student of the game and plan and strategize. So let me share with you the top five things that all coaches need. Number five, subscription to live matches. One of the requirements for all coaches is keeping tabs on what's happening in the best leagues in the world. You also often need to watch big tournaments and post-match analyses of games. So a subscription to matches is a must-have. A lot of my fellow coach friends tell me that they prefer watching just the highlights portions of games to save time. But I really don't recommend that. You need to pay attention to the things happening live, on the field, off the ball, especially in big games, and not just be watching the goals and chances created. I've mentioned a few subscription options in the description below. Basically, you need to become a student of the game and getting a subscription to live matches is the best way to do so. Number four, books. Another way to become a student of the game and to keep tabs on how tactics and formations and strategies have evolved is to read books. There's a wide range of books available out there about clubs and players and coaching. I've always been one of the first to read autobiographies by coaches since that tells you a lot about how much goes on behind the scenes at a football club, how coaches think, how they plan practices, and how they really react to certain in-game situations. It also gives you a good understanding of how coaches manage people, the players, the staff, and everybody else around them. Another one of my favorite themes in books is tactical analysis of formations. As a coach, you're going to use different types of formations in your coaching career, whether it's the 4-2-3-1, whether it's the 4-3-3 or the 4-4-2. So you need to understand the dynamics, the player positionings that go with these formations. And reading about them, understanding the theoretical aspects of them is one of the best ways to actually be a student of the game. I've also mentioned some of my favorite books in the video description below. Number three, team management software. This is probably one of the most obvious ones and something that I hope that you're already doing every season. A team management software helps you track the players, the budgeting, attendance, statistics, and organize everything for the entire season. All your photos, reminders, and even invoicing can be done within the software so it'll save you and the rest of the team a lot of time and effort. I would recommend getting a software that is compatible with a web browser and an app. I've often found myself scrambling at the last minute to check attendance or exact location of a game. So having the app definitely helps. I've personally used TeamSnap for majority of my time as a coach and it's one of the best software out there. Before we go any further, please make sure you subscribe to Soccer Spective for more engaging content like this. At number two, we have the practice or tactics planner. All coaches need a pen and a paper the night before a practice to sketch out the training plan. This includes the drills, the equipment logistics, the breakdown of the session, and the zones of the field that need to be used. Now, instead of doing this on separate pieces of paper, why not get a practice planner? This is basically a binder or a leather folder that has pre-drawn fields and practice templates on it. Usually, it has a place to take notes as well. There are some amazing practice planners out there that can also be used as tactic boards during games. This will save you a lot of time and effort because all you have to do is gather your thoughts and drills in one place. And the number one item that you need as an off-field essential is your season organizer. Yes, the season organizer is the number one essential tool for all coaches. 
For those who don't know what a season organizer is, this is the plan you make right at the beginning of the season, even before your season starts. Once you receive the fixture list for all your league games, you plot them onto a calendar. Then you take all the available slots from your club for field availability and you put that onto the calendar. And then you start looking at the tournament schedule for different regions and different tournaments for that season. And try to figure out which tournaments your team will participate in and when. Once all of these things are in the same place, you need to start making some of your most important decisions. You need to start identifying which of your practices will be low intensity, which ones will be tactical sessions, which one will be purely team building and fun, and which ones will be high intensity. You want to make sure you have the right practices at the right time. Similarly, you want to make sure that you want to pick the right tournaments at the right time in the season as well. That's why a season planner is so important. Now comes the kicker. There isn't a one size fits all season planner out there. So you're going to have to build your own. You can use your team management software to a certain extent and even identify the practice teams, but there will be a lot of fine tuning that will need to come from you directly. And that's the primary reason why there are so few season planners out there. Before you start making your own plan, just remember a few golden rules. No high intensity practices 48 hours before a game. Take the time to talk tactics with your team, especially within 24 hours of a big game against a tough opponent. Make sure to reduce the frequency of practices when you have more than two games in a week. Pick your tournaments based on your league fixture schedule and your practices and try not to overcrowd the games. And finally, once you have all this figured out, Use your on-field and off-field essentials to have the best practices and win games. This is where it all comes together. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the thumbs up button. I'd also love to hear your feedback on these off-field essentials. Thanks for watching.